Good morning, everybody. Oh my god, today is the day. Oh my god, it is 6 18. Time check. I don't know what time I'm leaving, but I'm supposed to be at my school at 7 30. As of right now, my makeup's done, my jewelry is in, I lotion my skin. All I really have to do is put on my clothes. Um, I'm not too sure what flats I want to bring because I'm not wearing heels the whole time. Being that we have to go early, my graduation ceremony starts at 10, and I'm not wearing those heels all day. It's not happening. But today's the day, and I'm so excited. But let's go in my closet and let's find some flats because I actually have. Don't judge my room, y'all. But I have these right here, and then I also have. I have these. I have these white ones. I have these silver ones, but these silver ones are not gonna go with my outfit. I might just wear these. Because my outfit has gold in it. So if I wear silver, it's gonna throw it off. But even though it's just for right now, I'm really not too sure. I don't know. But I might just go with these. So being that it was kind of hard for me to find a dress for my graduation, which I didn't really share with you guys yet. But I'm going to show it to you guys now because it's the day of and it only makes sense. I found these nice, cute white shorts. And I found a gold, a white and gold top that goes right with it. And I got the heels to match it, baby. We must be like good. I have a dress also, but I'm not too sure if I want to wear the dress because the dress doesn't really have a pop to it. Right? The dress was the second option. The dress don't got a, it don't got that pop to it. But this is different and it got a pop to it. So I think I might wear this. Um, so I'm going to put on my shorts right now. The shirt I'm going to wear for my mother because I have makeup on my face. And I'm not trying to get it on my makeup. So yeah, I think I might start taking out my hair as well. I think I might put these shorts back. I'm gonna start taking care of my hair. I want to do a transition, but I guess maybe not. Adea Labasser.
officially at the end. As I said before, I wanted to come on here and speak to you guys a little bit about my journey being at St. John's and what it was really like, you know, being in college, being a biology major, being a commuter, like all of those things. Like I said, I wasn't too open and vulnerable about my college life and my school life. So I really think that it's important that I come on here and speak to you guys because this is honestly how I wanted to end out the video, just to leave you guys with a couple of things that helped me through college and it's still in the back of my head till today because I can't even believe that I graduated. Um, y'all, I, I can't, like literally even after graduation, I didn't even know how to feel before graduation, I didn't know how to feel, but I am just, like I said before, I'm super grateful to even have the opportunity to go to college and I thank my parents. There are four tips that I do wanna tell you guys and leave you guys with that I think would be super helpful, especially for those who are going to college this year or you know, you are preparing for college, you're in college, whatever the case may be. I think that this should really leave you with an ease of mind. So with all that being said, the first thing that I do wanna leave you guys here with is something that I lacked and this might seem a little bit surprising but the first thing is to take a break I don't even know where to start because I never really gave myself a break that I should have and when I say I never gave myself the break what I mean is that when it came time for me to study for exams or do homework even if I'm just doing a regular assignment I never really incorporated a break into my routine like it was really all about work 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 I had the mindset of always wanting to finish my assignments before a certain time you know because I didn't want to be up late doing assignments or always felt like I needed to finish my assignments in order for me to relax and now that I really look back at it and I think and I'm actually speaking about it now I'm thinking to myself like girl you are crazy you cannot go hours with doing work back to back to back it's just not humane to do that and Definitely, I want you guys to take a break and definitely when I enter my new era, I definitely want to incorporate breaks into my routine because I can say the fact that I didn't incorporate a lot of breaks into my routine caused me to be drained mentally, physically, and emotionally more often than I was the last three years being in school. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's really it, y'all. Literally, senior year was probably the most draining year of being in college for me. Senior year, being that I didn't utilize breaks when I should have, it left me to be drained in all types of ways and I, I hated that. That's one thing that I do wanna fix about myself to incorporate breaks into anything that I do. I don't care if I'm making content, I don't care if I'm editing a video for two hours, I want to incorporate a break because breaks are so important. And a break doesn't have to be long. It's so much better to take a break and then come back to your work than draining yourself through for six hours straight. I never really utilized breaks as often and I can say that I'm very grateful for my boyfriend because he actually saw that I was so drained in so many ways and he was like, you need a break. This is when you need a break. Like, you're gonna take a break. I don't care, we're gonna go grab something to eat, your favorite thing to eat, or we could go grab some coffee, whatever, but you need a break. He was just saying like, you know, you look drained, you know what I'm saying? You're tired, I can see it in you, you need a break. You can just do it tomorrow. And the thing about me, if I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, is that I wanted to finish something at a certain time. I wanted to finish it at a certain date. I wanted to finish it when I wanted to finish it. That was just my mindset, that was on my mind. That's who I am. I've always been that way. I used to overuse myself. Honestly, that I'm not in school right now, I can say I've been chilling. I've been enjoying life. I've been stress-free. I've just been chilling, y'all. It was just like a release once I graduated. The next tip that I want you guys to do that I didn't really do, but I did, and I'm gonna get into that, is to join organizations and clubs. With that being said, I was only in, I was in four clubs total. One of them I dropped, the other one I had also dropped out of, and then I only kept two. So let me tell you the clubs and organizations that I were in at St. John's. I was a part of some science club. The second club that I joined, dang y'all, I can't even remember the name of the club, but the club that I joined had to do with like cancer. We basically raised like money and stuff like that for cancer organizations and for cancer patients. The third club that I joined was to be a student ambassador. Basically that entailed giving tours to incoming freshmen as well incoming freshmen or people that want to come to the school and like parents and basically convince them and tell them that this is the school for them and then the last organization that i joined was to be a rise mentor and the tool that i kept was a student ambassador and to be a rise mentor this year unfortunately my second semester of being a senior i didn't want to be a student ambassador anymore and it was only because y'all i didn't have no freaking time when i say i didn't have no time i didn't have no time for anything like it was strictly school the assignments the papers the 
freaking exams the quizzes like the tests everything was just back to back to back and on top of that i also had a winter course i had two winter courses to take which i'm actually going to touch base on that a little bit later in the video it was like back to back to back i didn't really even get to enjoy my winter break first and foremost what clubs typically do is like in the beginning of each semester or maybe in the beginning of each year they will still ask you if you want to be a part of this club getting into that last semester of being a senior i was like yeah nah, i can't do this i know i can't do this so I was just like, you know, I won't be a continuous student ambassador. Another thing, another thing that I do want to mention is that being that I was a commuter, it was so much hard to be in organizations that I really wanted to be in because I had to take the train home and the bus. And I honestly, when my classes were done, y'all, I wanted to be off campus. Nine times out of ten, I had freaking homework to do. So it was it was never really a win-win with me it was just always something on my back so for you guys i definitely want to say that even if you're a commuter maybe try to join a little organization nothing too crazy it's definitely a good network opportunity and you can meet new people the third thing that i want you guys to keep in the back of your head is to remember why you are here remember why you're in college you know what i'm saying remember why you chose the major that you did remember why you know you chose that college i think for me and i never really spoke about this on my channel but st john's i didn't want to go to that school it wasn't a school of my choice it wasn't something that I dreamed of for years for me I don't even really think I had a dream school I just didn't know if I wanted to go away or if I wanted to stay here I don't know if I wanted to be close to my parents or I wanted to get freedom but I can't even say get freedom because I've always had freedom I never had a dream school St. John's wasn't the school that I wanted to go to but I ended up there and I can't say that I full on full loved it but I can definitely say that I learned many life lessons from it and I can say that they've taught me a lot with four years being in college definitely remember why you are here like you're here in college because what you want to get a degree baby I'm pretty sure you're not in college to party some people go to college just to party so what I'm really trying to say here is remember why you're here for me even though my years were stressful at St. John's especially academic wise I knew why I was here I knew that I wanted to get a degree I knew that science was my subject which is why I never switched my major I knew that I wouldn't like anything else I knew I wouldn't like math I knew why I was there and I knew that at the end of the day I wanted my GPA to be high because college wasn't the end of the road you know how some people would just go to college they'll get their bachelor's and whatever and they could get their dream job or something like that for me it's not the case like I finished college that's one step of my life but I now I have to go you know into whatever you want to be medical school PA school law school you know what I'm saying that's the next step for me so I knew that for me I had to show my butt off and I know I had to put my all in it because my grades justify my next step which is why I always remembered I'm here for this if I don't do this now it's gonna affect me later so remember why you're here don't get lost in the party and don't get lost in your friends I really want to say have fun but have that balanced life at the same time have fun and make sure that your academics come first and the fourth thing that I definitely want to leave you guys here with is to find your your zone and by that you guys are probably like Daya what do you mean by find your zone like what are you talking about when I say find your zone I mean find a place a physical place whether it's the library your home you know if you're a commuter if it's your home or if it's your dorm room find a place that helps you focus for me I began to love the hell out of the library my senior year I was in the library 24 7 it was my place I knew my specific spots like y'all I had different spots you know just in case one of my spots were filled up and I would find my zone and I would do my work and I would get my stuff done find your zone find a place that works the best for you I can really say especially for COVID time I like it was so hard for me to find my zone I was stuck in my room like oh my god I'm saying I was stuck in my room as if I was in jail but I was in my room majority of the time because my mom was also home and she was teaching I had no choice but to do my academics in my room and that drove me freaking crazy y'all like I was like losing it in here I swear I was losing it in here I couldn't I couldn't do it I look at my room as a place to not do work my room is only a place for me to sleep and get dressed so to do academics in here it really kind of changed my mentality and my aspect which is also why I thought it was very hard for me to get back on my learning type of I wouldn't say journey but I had a learning aspect to me I knew my learning strategy when I stepped foot into college my freshman year I knew my learning strategy I knew what worked for me to pass my exam I think that after COVID all of that just it fell apart like I struggled my first semester of senior year I struggled like when I say I struggled it was a struggle for me for one of my courses I struggled 
bad and i aced that class at the end of the day i aced my class i had to relearn myself i had to relearn what my zone was what worked the best for me to pass my exams and my finals what did i do freshman sophomore and junior year to pass my quizzes that i can incorporate now find your zone find a place that okay this is my this is my study table this is where i study this is where i do work honestly and that's what i'm gonna leave you guys here with i wanted to talk to you guys about what happened to me during my winter break i don't really like to speak on things especially before it happens or certain times i just don't feel the need to share my business with people what basically happened to me in my winter break of college i had courses to take over my winter break and if i didn't take those courses i wouldn't be able to graduate i wouldn't be able to walk that ceremony i had to take two courses over my winter break and with that being said that means y'all i had fall winter and spring i had classes back to back to back so that explains why your girl was stressed i'm so glad that i was given the opportunity to take my winter classes oh, i swear if i didn't graduate this this year it was gonna be a hell hole in this house it was gonna be a hell hole every day because i wouldn't have been happy i would have been mad at myself for not taking that opportunity like i said this is the end of an era but the beginning of a new one and like my parents always tell me 24 7 get that degree girl because nobody nobody can take that degree away from you i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe to my channel turn that post notifications to get notified every single time you go post video which is every friday and sunday now at 11 a.m and make sure you guys follow me on my main social media account it is always on the screen and that link is always in that description box i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye